All right, hello, Internet. Wolf and Doom Gaming here, and welcome to a random game that Google put out um, celebrating uh, Jerry Lawson here. Apparently, was the man responsible for cartridges. And they made this neat, neat, little, uh, this neat little game. You guys start building arcade games, or arcade for fun. So he became the first back engineer to work in the beginning of the industry. He led the team to build the first ever cartridge games cartridge. Yeah, so thanks to this guy, we have a new games and we know them, you know, today. Fair works on like a whole new band of that uh text is a little too fast. But yeah, I saw this earlier and I was like, oh, that's pretty neat. I, I wanna, there's a couple different games you can play. Hey, I did it. Yeah, so there's all these different games. They're pretty basic, something, nothing crazy, but it's something. This is just a break breaker. It's a pretty neat little thing, though. I mean, there'd be a lot of work they put into this. But, I mean... Yeah, pretty big accomplishment. I might get up there. Nope. Ow! Oh, it got away. Try again, turkey! Yeah, there's no uh, full screen mode, so I had to, um, I shared a link to myself, which led me to a, like, solo window, and then I zoomed in a bunch, so it made it more closer to the screen. This is being played in the browser, but I can't tell, though, I mean... And it's nothing amazing. I just thought it was just neat to share. Just something different. Something that won't be around, you know, forever. And once Google moves on to their next thing, this will be... This will be gone. And the fact that it is a game, it's, you know, definitely caught my attention enough for me to, uh... Want to play it. I mean, I actually grew up a lot of these games. That's all there was back in the day. You know, playing games like, you know, Brick Breaker and all that kind of stuff. I like the music. It's very, uh, very NES era. That's probably the idea they were going for, but it's definitely like very just any ass sounding. Hey, there, there you go. All right, one more. Oops, too far. All right. Hey, we play more games. Yeah, this is pretty basic, too. Actually, it's in the, this is like the second game I tried when I first started playing this earlier. So I saw it before I had to leave for work, and I was like, oh, this is pretty neat. Yeah, let's try this one. Let's say it's very simplistic. There really is no uh, challenge. It's just for fun, and you can make your own. Oops, you can make your own uh, levels, which is pretty neat, and really like get into it.
you know, some like Mario Maker kind of stuff. Oh, come on. Try again, turkey. This doesn't reset when you die. Leave me alone, leave me alone. I want the money. Oh my God. Leave me alone. No, that's not fair. Really? You can't camp, that's not fair. Oh my God. The freaking computer's camping. Stop. Stop. Oh my God. This is ridiculous. I couldn't like go anywhere because like, or I left. These little skulls are just like right on me. Let's see if we can just get the heck out of here. Damn. So. That was a power up. Didn't realize that. Need a key. There's the key. Is we're gonna be able to move in uh, multiple directions because uh, that was one thing early NES games did not do was um, move in multiple directions. It was up, down, left, and right, and that was it. There wasn't a diagonal. It wasn't possible to do. It wasn't until um, Super Mario 3 came out with the. Uh, what was it FX ship? I think it was that allowed for diagonal movement. See ya. Ah, no, leave me alone. Okay, that one was pretty challenging. All right, what's this one? Oh. It's like, uh, Game Maker. This is pretty neat, actually. I like this. Oh, that's cool. It moves with the... This feels like an actual game, like an actual game you would see in like a store somewhere. What's the cool thing about a, about a game like this is that like, um, it'll get people's like creative juices flowing. Oops. You know, like a game like this, yeah, it's, it's simplistic. But the fact that it is so simplistic means that, like, in terms of, like, you know, just imagining things, you can really go wherever you want to with it. Jumping's a little off. The key is over here. Darn it.
All right, I got this. This oddly challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Either I just suck. But the jumping is a little off. It's a little delayed. All right. <sighs> I figured what happened. Don't know how to go buy those those things I hurt myself. That should be a challenge. <laughs> but yeah, there was a program I used years ago to make uh, games back in the day, and uh, it reminds me a lot of this program. It was a uh, game maker, um, which isn't as good as it used to be. It got very, uh, very commercially, in my opinion, and um, it's not as good as it used to be. So back back in the day, it was like when you down the program, you had um, free assets. You can do quite a lot with it, and then you could choose to upgrade to a um, an upgraded package that just had uh, more to it, and you could do more. And that's all it was, and you just would uh, learn how to uh, um, use the basic things that already has set up for you to, um, you know, make objects, make make your own sprites, and then to add collision to them and make your world. And it was interesting. Not the. Uh, the greatest game maker, but I can say I've done it. You could jump. You could jump. You could jump. I can kill them? I didn't know that. What are you doing over there? Jump. This is getting a little bit uh, complex. What's the point of that then? Oh, uh, sure, aren't it? Jump and jump and jump and fall and die. Yeah, exactly how I planned it. Jump! Oh my gosh, he doesn't want to jump. Jump. 
Yep. Oh my, why? You go over there, and you're just like, nope, don't want to do it. Just held down the button, that's fine. What the heck? I'm sorry, what? Did I miss something somewhere? Let's get rid of that, so... But I can't get through... That, so... I'm a little confused. I still didn't do anything now, so... I'm still a little confused on what to do. Is it too far forward too early, I think? Gosh darn it. that there jump yeah I can't get in there so what am I I miss something. Jump. To the star. <laughs> no, I do that. I just do anything. I know I'm overthinking it.
See, I can't get past that door. I don't know how to get down there because the minute that goes there, it just stops that. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I'm a little confused. I feel like I missed something somewhere. Jump. 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 Why don't you want to jump? Uh, uh, why? I use a butterfly? I gotta go down with it then. Dodge is too far ahead. Oh, it's gonna take a while to get down here, isn't it? Is he gonna come back down? Did I, uh, did I break the game? Yes, there's coins down here. To get. Where did it go? Oh, okay. It's enough of that. That's getting a little annoying. I'm not sure that was good or not. It was really neat, but it just got really annoying really fast. Like a rave kitty or something. They all seem pretty much the same. All right, let's see what the uh, let's see what this one is.
my god, it seemed to go roll a uh, turn. Uh oh. Uh oh, I may have, uh, I may have boned myself. Because you can't push it back the other way, although you can pull it. Can I grab it? He had the elbow, uh, there. I saw a like it. Hey, yeah, uh, neat little game now. I mean, it's oddly challenging. I wonder if it's controller support. I no, I didn't think so, but I wanted to wanted to try make it a little more easier play with the controller and not with the keyboard. I don't like playing with the keyboard, it's weird. Yeah, that's all that happened. Yeah, fair I can kill them. Okay. That was pretty neat. It's definitely interesting. Um, yeah, so currently this is on Google if you want to try for yourself. Um, and if you guys make any levels, yeah, send it my way. I'll definitely uh, try them. But, uh, yeah, pretty neat. Something different. But, uh, as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.